guys, welcome back to the channel for video number two of uh, this evening of Transfers and Rumours because as I said in the first video we did just a few hours ago, it will more than likely be announced that uh, Carlton Morris was joining the Reds and joining he as penning a deal with the Reds until 2023, Barnsley Football Club certainly on the ball in terms of transfers, in terms of positions that we do need to strengthen in um, this uh, January. And I also have to give a big shout out to the media team for uh, a uh, video they did uh, on the Twitter page, uh, which was very, very funny. Uh, a bit of an in-betweeners uh, style video copy of the in-betweeners, the ooh friend thing uh, <laughs> between Sol Bauer styles uh, and a few other players britain obviously do, being the main one because obviously britain from mk dons um as well coming back and rejoining um with uh, obviously carlton morris who's come come in yeah delighted obviously we all knew i mean roughly we're just waiting for it to be announced really and i said in the first video it is almost done um the deal described as a strong mobile fr pace it front man so looking forward to seeing him. It is a shame he can't play at the weekend, though, in the FA Cup, because I think those are the games where, certainly against a, a side like Tramia, no disrespect, it'd be a good way to it to kick off his Barnsley career. And what I mean by that is there's a bit less pressure. It isn't the league. Um, you know, you're not thrown in necessarily at the deep end. Uh, but he is cup tied, so unfortunately he will miss uh, he will miss the game, and he's uh, he, he will be making his uh, debut in the league. Uh, six foot two, um, he spent uh, he's had separate spells with Rotherham, uh, and a loan move to Shrewsbury in the 2017-18 season, um, and that's him flourishing uh, flourishing the football uh, the football league, youth international with England as well. So. Listen, you look at his goal-scoring record, and I'm sure some of our fans will, and I've seen some comments on social media, not nasty comments, but just more of he needs to improve in front of goal, blah, 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 listen, blah, blah, blah. But it, like I said in the first video, look at our system, look at the way we play, um, and I think, you know, he might go on one of the sides to Woodrow. I don't think... I can't see Valley and Ishmael changing the style, Um so I see maybe that he will play in maybe Connor Chaplin or Dominic Freezer and be if he's got the legs to work up and down, then that would be the position for him. But not just that, you know, gives us something different to bring off the bench if he is on the bench. Uh, you know, if you talk big, big and strong, pacey, you know, maybe to change the game up if it's not working, then that can also come into effect. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm delighted that we've got uh, the other signing, another signing on board. It shows that Barnsley are at it, uh, adding to the numbers, and hopefully it does improve us. Obviously, we've touched on it already. Last few videos about Matty James leaving, you know, big boots to fill there. Whether the and it looks like Barnsley are going ahead with the the players that we have got for the midfield. So I'm hoping you know it all works out for uh, for Carlton Morris. You know, there's there's other players also being linked, the one we touched on in the last video. But let's focus on tonight and well done to Barnsley for getting another signing over the line. And good luck to him. Really good luck to him and I hope he helps us out best he can. Uh, and we'll we'll obviously judge him judge him uh, come the end of the season probably see how he comes on but I really do hope it works out for him so get your comments in guys and uh, let me know what you think uh, I will just read out of course what he has said uh, about joining uh, the Reds uh, I'm delighted to sign for Barnes Football Club and I can't wait to get involved I describe myself as offering a bit of everything. I like to think I'm strong and quick, good technically. I know I'm uh, describing a super player there, so don't expect too much. Um, but I, but no, I will leave everything out there on the pitch every time. That is that is a given, something I pride myself on. So that's good to know that he will give absolutely everything when he is out there on the pitch. That's what you want as a supporter. That's what you want to see when you're watching the games. Obviously, we need to see that and also the extra bit, which is the quality bit, which, you know, as he says, he offers a bit of everything. So, pace, strength, good technically. So, let's see how he fares again with better players because this is another thing, you know, some people say he might not have scored as many in League One uh, and then he moves up to the Championship, but he's playing with better players now 
that can hopefully provide him. So you think maybe he will flourish with those better players. I think yeah, we've got better players than MK Dons as a, as a squad. So let's see how he goes on from there. That's that's the way I, I will look at it. And fingers crossed to him. Listen, I hope it works out. And I hope it works out for us, him and everybody. So, okay, guys, I will get out of here. I've got stuff to do. Just thought I'd pop on just to give you my thoughts on it and obviously get your guy, you, you guys' opinion um, on Carlton Morris signing uh, with the Reds until 2023. It's all good so far. Anyway, guys, get in the comments. Give us a like and subscribe if you are new. And we will see you tomorrow. There probably will be a transfers and rumors video as well as the match preview. So thank you for thank you so much for watching, guys. All the best to you, you Reds.